Gideon! You're here, buddy. Thank you. John, did you already get the tools together for today's project? Mm. Get with it, guys. Get Whee! with it. Drive that Jeep. Drive that Jeep. Today, try number two at getting the three little pigs out. Hey! We're still waiting on a back-ordered fence that we used to train them to electric. I kind of want to get them out of that darker-ish stall and get them over here. Yesterday moving them didn't go so well. Oh boy. He's not, they're hungry. Hey, come on. This is not good. The double team work isn't working out that great. Lily, let me see your pig board. All right, bring them back, Jonah. There we go. All right, that wasn't gonna work. <laughs> here at our pole barn, I wanted to, I planned for the big pigs to come in here in this big cow area. They aren't even done with the sheep area. We got you so many scraps, you guys aren't really digging that hard for the corn. We could make it a hair easier on them. You want to? No, they gotta work. See if that helps. This is today's food scraps, but normally we have twice that much, much today. So they might be a little hungry today. Meaning they're gonna search for that corn we bury. But we'll give them some skim milk. Skim milk is getting gross. Hey, what are you doing out there? So that's how my hose get gone, huh? What? I think you're right where my hose are. Look, oh, okay. Okay, just don't lose the hose, all right? I can cut them out. You too? I think I'm gonna have to do what they did at an orphanage in Honduras that I worked in. They locked up their tools. <laughs> I just don't wanna carry around a key. We're gonna try something, see if this is speeded up a little bit. Now, I'm in no particular hurry to get the breeder pigs out. In fact, it's way easier to manage them here in this bedding. But I kind of want to get those three little pigs. Isn't it brighter out here? Isn't this nicer out here? We got you guys distracted. Now this one's pregnant, so, you know, even then, I guess, we would just pull the boar out and she could farrow in here. It might not be a terrible idea. Maybe they're being lazy. There's some corn. I dug this out. Super warm in there, though. Got down to some corn. Look how soft that corn has gotten. And it's fermented and gotten soft. So we got some there. Hey, why don't you dig in there? You getting too many scraps? We'll see if that little hole gives them a little bit of a jump start. Will you hand me that thermometer? What do we have to do to get ready in here? Well, see that there? At the end, that's the cattle panel. That's not gonna hold. That's not gonna hold them in. We need to put one of these uh, metal gates up. Okay. It's gonna go over 80 for a 65 degree day. That's not bad. Might get up to 90. Yeah, we got some compost activity there. What Joel does in this, what you call pigerator system, he doesn't feed them at all. But we don't have scraps. What are we gonna do with all these scraps? Well, we could give them to the feeders, but, and I guess we might, if we really need to get this dug by a certain time. I just think it's cool that we can pretty much feed our, our feeder, our breeders, these guys, pretty much 100% on our skim milk and our food scraps. And I kind of want the feeders maybe to grow a little more consistent. Some more consistent feed. And this one, she's pregnant. So I just want to make sure she's getting everything she needs. So I don't want to do her just in corn. So that's why we're feeding the scraps. All right, kids, come on. I'd like everybody to do this with me. Gideon, there you are. Come on. Can we take my deep off the ground like today? You think Grandma can fix it? Yeah. Grandma, can you fix yeah. that? We only saw it. It's a little beyond Grandma. I want to show you something. Grandma might fix it with the Facebook Marketplace. I'll tell you what, if we get this done before milking, we'll take it up there. Yay. We got 45 minutes. Tell her about it. Yep. You've been working hard. We'll see about getting that fixed. Let's cross our fingers. This thing will fit. I think it's going to be a hair long. We have definitely hit early on. Do we have any more flesh right here? That got us a few inches, it looks like. But not enough. Jonah wants to put it on the other side. That would be no problem today. But next year when our deep bedding gets up to here, because we started earlier, it's going to be a problem. That's why we need these on the inside. Could we take this? this off and do the, the gate from that end. You 
cut this bolt on this side, so it's it's like sort of no no. Uh oh. So that's not gonna bolt off easy because we, uh -oh. yeah, we're gonna have to try it, or we're have to gonna cut this bolt. See, we can't push over anymore to gain us any more room. We could we could move that over if we need it to swing this well, way. We'd be running into the same problem. Or with we can swing it over there. I feel like that swinging that way was best. We could lift it off, but then the cows could lift it off too. Maybe if we hadn't have cut those bolts, we could pull this out. We could pull this out. That might work. And then this could go on the other side. Could that go through it down there? Okay, this is good. We have more of these. We can make these stick further out. Let's get the gate off of it first. This could actually go pretty easy, Jonah, since those unscrewed. That was lucky because this has been cut, but it still came off. We'll just replace this with a long one. Hopefully this will work. If not, we'll just redo our hole. Let's hope the bottom one comes off as easy as the top one did. Do I need two wrenches? I got my runners getting me some wrenches. Another wrench. Yeah, that's just gonna twist it. Oh look, it's going. That's like too easy. Is it really going this easy? There's bound to be a hiccup somewhere. And then Let's this put it in place and see if we can't run the bolts. The bolts through that longer bolt. Now we have hay resting on our two by six there. We need to pull that hay up, guys, so that we can rest this gate on. At this point, you might be wondering, why wasn't this already installed? Well, they didn't have this gate in stock. It was back ordered for a long time. The cattle panel did fine just for cows. Uh, this has been here a while, but we had no real purpose in putting it up until now. We've got it flush over here. See, now our deep bedding can come up two, I mean, theoretically come up four more feet. Now we're trying to get these ends off that hold the gate up. Not coming so easy. I'm trying to bang it out. I think I might need actual, like a metal hammer. Thought I need a rubber mallet, but that's not working. Now let's try the hammer. I've got it open up a little bit. Hey, I got it, Jonah. I'm not worried about animals getting through. There's just nowhere to attach it over here now. Let's go ahead and put our bolts in, Jonah. Okay. And see, we might be able to move this further this way. We won't know for sure until we put the bolts in. We've got our gate hangers coming through. This fence. This is on there. Jonah's put one strap in just to hold it up. We'll put multiple straps on it. He's got a two by six. It's like He's gonna screw it in to the six by six behind it. And then he can mount his strap to that. That's the perfect size. And see, then you can easily strap it to that. That's good. Good call. See, our pigs will dig there and could get out under here. Hay bale. Oh, a hay bale. Yeah, if we if we keep this gate shut, which I, we can, can't we keep this gate shut? Yeah. We could put hay bale right there. Longer term, it wouldn't hurt to just temporarily put a piece of a pig panel down there or something. Well, that'll be a quick fix. With the hay bale, let's see if we can't hang this gate before milking time. All we gotta do is put some hay bale in front of it. I think we're ready to get those pigs. Let's do it after milking. They've been staying by. You guys watching it? Yeah. Gideon's washing out the grill. He, he seems to think you can fix it. Yes! Look guys, look at the sheep on the well. Look at it. Yeah. They're mowing yeah, that bank. No problem. <laughs> Arun, you didn't think we were gonna make it, did you? Yeah, I was thinking because it's so bad. See, Even you? being wet, it just rained last night. Yes, we needed the rain. Somebody put this in our sally. I'm thinking this might be our solution for our chain hookup. First of all, will that hook there? Yes. Now the other thing is this pin. Will it actually what fit through this chain? I almost want to hammer that through yeah. there, it's so close. If you hammer, we can make it. Or what about the... Let's make sure we put it in the right place before we jam it through there. And then it'll hook to that, and then it can hook in the middle, and that way it won't slide. So is that about right, right there? What do you think? Yeah? Yeah. All right. Wow, epic, epic poop. We're having to move metal here, so... We're gonna get, Rune's gone to get a real hammer. Lily, let's start milking. And mom's calling me. That can't be good. I'll say the Henry, the Henry boy while I'm here. And Josiah watching you. 
they're having a good time. Turns out it was a self-publishing service. I'm kind of interested in a couple of children's book. Mr. Brown, where are your shoes? And uh, talking teddy bear for Josiah. I can't take that call though now. I got I had to change my shirt, got poop on it. I need to get out to the we we're late milking. We're still working on this chain, the three little pigs got I'm just gonna have to tell them. <laughs> I have poop all over me. I can't take the call. Just a little over two weeks old, we got our sea monsters out. Sure. This net is mostly foolproof. Sure, one or two get out in the beginning. Generally, these little tiny chickens will stay in and can't get out. Put this on. That's a happy sight, isn't it? Chickens on grass. Good morning, sheepses. Thank you, Lily, for starting. Thank you, Arun, for starting. Well, while I was finished milking there, look what Arun did. He got it on. We got the hammer up here and a board. We were able to stabilize it. And now we should be able to just back up and hook this up. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're just hanging out. You taking pictures of your garden? Yep. Mr. Are you just along for the ride, Mr. Henry? Farmer Henry, you just go. <laughs> you just go wherever mom goes. He does, he just hangs out. Yeah, I don't think those shoes are gonna work for the pig job. He's really walking out in those boots. Are we really doing this? Yeah. Nobody's fed them, right? We want them to be good and hungry. They are good and hungry. Jonah had an idea for hauling the pigs, and it's not this trailer, which is not bad, but it's it's a little big. We will still need this Polyface Designs pig ramp, which if you want to build, polyfacedesigns.com, or I'll leave the link in the description. You know the drill. You know the drill. I have to tell you guys to the link, link in the description. Okay, I don't know. Maybe you're new here. Maybe you're new here. It's not a light ramp, but it makes all the difference. Mainly, this thing is super long, or super wide, and super long. So it's totally stress free for the uh, pigs, and it's got these cleats and nice rope handles for carrying it. This is his idea, this little trailer. I don't think they'll jump over this edge. All right, we got the trailer over here. Let's uh, see if that's enough. Almost, I'm gonna have Jonah pull up here. That's good, that's good. That's good? Now this is tricky right here, this gap. So let's get those pig, pig panels. Aren't there pig panels right there? Yeah, there they are. What are you doing? Pallets? Yeah, get the longer pallets. We have longer pallets. Thanks. Yep. Perfect. Alright, Josiah, we need you to come hold this. Lily, can you go hold that we one? We need feed. Oh, shoot, we gotta go get the feed. Hang on. I'll get it. Forgot it over there. Grandpa Chick. He does whatever he wants. I clipped his wing, he still gets out. He goes to the pasture posse, he goes to the breakfast posse. He knows that he's the only rooster and I ain't gonna call him. Don't you, buddy? We'll get to a replacement. In the case of chickens, I like to have the, well, in case of this whole farm, you haven't noticed, I like to have breeding stock. Just food security. Now, we don't use the breeding stock in the chickens, but it's nice to have as a backup, in case we would ever need it. Uh-oh, the inspector here? Yeah. Okay, Mom. Lily, you hold that panel. Get in, you come hold this red panel. And Josiah, you come hold this one. And mom, you just be cute with the baby and take pictures. Okay. The plan is Jonah's gonna lead them out, right? I'll be with a pig board here. Yeah, pig, 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 pig. Yeah, pig, 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 pig. Yeah. This is going a lot better than yesterday. I'm gonna get here and back them up with a pig board. Come on, pressure them. See, mom, they weren't going nowhere. Well, there they go. Try number two. I don't want to push them too hard. Here we go. Come on. Okay, once I get them out, guys, I'll shut this door behind me. And then they can't come out. Come on. And they can't go back in this comfort. Hold that, Lily. Okay, I've shut this door. All right. Here we go. Come on. Oh, that one. They're tearing into this.
Here, let me get you guys on your legs. Then I can use this pig board with two hands. All right, let's, uh, let's move him. I think I'm gonna be able to get, yeah, I think I can pull up, get this straight, and we won't even need our ramp. We'll just, it's, it's high enough there. All right, I got right up to it, right? You yeah. just hold the side with the pig board there, Jonah. Around you can drop it. I'll pressure him out with this. There you go. There's just some excitement. This is uh, your other mate, Beef Cake. This is Cupcake. I think it's the first time you're on meeting. These other two are feeders. But this one will be a mama. I am not a pig whisperer, but they just already seem so much happier, don't they? They are. They could get in the sun right now. They could get in the shade. They've got a breeze. This is a great so much better. feet bedding system like with open Like when they weren't walls. coming in, I'm like, dude, it's gonna be way better. Just know, it's gonna be a lot funner. Now we're gonna empty the uh, waterer in there and get it over to them. Just uh, give them beefcake a bath, they love it. I'm thinking wetting it down will also help it break down a little bit. It's a little dry. But it might encourage them to dig. Just to see if the little pigs like it. Nope. <laughs> We've had lunch. It's been a couple of hours. I'm checking on the... It's so nice to have this right here. Because you can see them. Rebecca, they're digging by the gate. They're loving it. They're digging. Having a good time. I just love that system. Tomorrow, we're going to be planting... It's all part of the system. Out in front, see the mulched area? We're gonna be planting our transplants. Our squash garden. See you guys then.